Yo guys, what is up? Back out here from another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a newer version of Mac OS wallpaper on your older Mac. Now, um, you can do this uh, vice versa as well if you have the newer software and you want and you like the old uh, OS wallpaper, then you can get whatever wallpaper you want. You can also get pictures, um, just random wallpapers of different things. It's pretty cool. So you're going to want to go down here to Safari click it and then in your search bar you're gonna want macbook and you want to want to gonna want to type in macbook wallpaper it's gonna come up you push images and then you have choices and choices and choices and like I said you can do this with like any picture you want you can just type in that picture for me I think I want this one so I think it's Mac OS uh, Big Sur yeah, I th yeah, I was right. All right, so then when you push visit, and this won't work with all pictures, but this site's pretty cool. You can have uh, different wallpapers for different things. So then you pu push this download button, and you just push that right there, and it's downloading right there in the corner, as you can see. Maybe you can't see. I don't know. And then it's downloaded. So now, yeah, there it is. You you're gonna want to X out of all your tabs. So right there. Then you're going to want to go to System Professions. Click that. It's going to bounce. Then, Desktop and Screensaver. This computer is pretty slow because it's from 2012 and it only has 4 gigabytes of RAM. But, uh, push Desktop Screensaver. And then for me, wait a few minutes. Not really a few minutes. Alright, then you're going to see all these stock pictures for Mac OS Catalina. You're going to see Colors, then Photos, Folders, and then you're going to want to go all the way down to uh, the uh, plus button. You're going to want to push the plus. And uh, there. And then you're going to want to go to uh, downloads in here. And you'll see there it is. You're going to want to click it. And then you push choose right here. Um, it's being slow. There. You push choose and there you go. You have a full wallpaper and it's whatever wallpaper you want. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, you're not going to be able to do this with some pictures because they don't have their own website. So I'm going to show you the second way how to do it. Push Safari, obviously. Type in a MacBook wallpaper again. And then you choose whatever one you want. Let's just uh, pick this one. All right, it looks kind of cool. All right, push visit. And then it'll be, oh, okay, so this is another site where you can download them. We don't want that. I mean, it is more convenient, but I want to just show you guys um, what you can do. We, so if you find one that doesn't need downloading. Okay, this one looks like it'll be good. So, um... Okay, how, how about this? Let's just go, because I s seem to be finding a bunch earlier. Images. Uh, let's just go to Rose Gold. And hopefully there's some random one. Um, Alright, here we are, Rose Gold. Uh, let's just choose uh, this one. Alright, so you'll see that it's loading when you push visit, obviously. Um, it's getting tiring holding this camera. All right, now, here's this. Now you can take a screenshot of it. And to do that, you push Shift, Command, 3. And then that will take a screenshot for you. And uh, then, all right, so you put Shift, Command, 3. And you heard the sound. That was a screenshot. So then what you're going to want to do is X out and you'll see your screenshot is appearing on your desktop so you push your screenshot double click it obviously and it'll come up to you that screenshot now what you're going to want to do is edit it to do that you just push this right this right here oh wait that just tilted just a sec
and then you're gonna want to zoom gonna want to make it uh you push this um you see it's the uh wind the thing that looks like a window with arrow arrows going in you push that and then uh move this box over here well or not all right and then just push okay so then you have these these lines and then you drag them up to the height of the screenshot and then drag them this way dang it just like this it's a it's a pretty little pain in the butt especially when you're holding a camera and you just adjust it so it's the perfect size and then you push crop up here I'm gonna show you guys it's crop push it and now that's your picture then you're gonna want to X out as I said uh, it's way easier to just to do the first method but if you have a picture that you really want then you can do this me method um, so then you're gonna want to go to desktop and screensaver it's loading again and then push it and uh, wait for a couple minutes that's for mine there we go oh, it wasn't so bad then you push plus if it would ever load and then you push photos and your photos push you need to make it go down no all right just a sec i just really okay you're gonna want to go to desktop i'll show you right there that's desktop after you push the plus button obviously um, okay, well, I'm going to show you guys again in case you didn't catch it. Sorry if I'm getting repetitive, but, uh, alright. Alright, so, you're going to want to go to desktop right here, and then push the thing that says screenshot. Push that, and then push choose, just like the last one. Push choose, and then X out, and there you are. Um... So guys, that's how to get uh, different uh, screensavers, or I should say, desktop wallpapers on your device that uh, doesn't have the, the wallpaper you want stock. And uh, it's a pretty good way, because you can get any wallpaper, and it looks pretty sick. Um, this particular one isn't that high quality, but they, they, they have better quality ones. And I probably didn't wait for it to load before I took a screenshot. So... Anyway, guys, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.